Words, the global economy's new Eldorado. The new lords of the cyber market, Yahoo, Google, Microsoft, and others, have discovered how to transform words and information into a limitless source of wealth. Text, images, graphics, photos, music, anything that can be digitized is transformed into a commercial product. This is the new information and know-how market made possible through recent developments in digital technology and the new media. Yet these cyber market giants have created their empires while imposing their own language, which ensures them the command and control of the new communication systems. They dominate the job, knowledge, capital, and technology markets. However, more than half of the world's population is excluded from today's information society, and the digital gap is growing. Although technological infrastructure is slow in developing, the real problem is the linguistic barrier. The compartmentalization of knowledge and information keeps this digital third world from accessing modern media. The incorporation of this digital third world into the global cyber market is the great cyber Eldorado waiting to be explored, allowing people access to the global economy while preserving their own language and cultural heritage is a way of creating equitable relations among peoples and a means of developing world peace. But powerful tools are needed to meet this challenge. UNL, the Universal Networking Language System, is a most promising solution for pulling down linguistic barriers. This unique translation system uses highly advanced technology. It places a simple communications tool for working in one's own language within everyone's reach. UNL has developed a veritable computer language using its own vocabulary, grammar, and semantics, capable of simulating every concept of the human mind. UNL is more than simple translation. It accurately replaces every concept within its context. The advantage is that UNL is a pivotal language within communications networks. Whereas one language is normally translated into another, UNL translates from a single language into every interface language within the system. UNL was invented 10 years ago by Hiroshi Uchida and Meiying Chu at the UN University in Tokyo. The patent for this revolutionary invention was registered in the UN's name to ensure unlimited accessibility for all. En 2000, on a créé ici à Genève la fondation qui a hérité alors le droit et les obligations de développer l'UNL des Nations Unies. The Geneva-based UNDL Foundation in Switzerland is developing the system with a team of researchers, computer scientists, and linguists creating the network. Numerous teams around the world are working on interface development between UNL and their mother tongue. This linguistic center network is the base of a new universal web. But let us take a closer look at how UNL works. There are two steps to the translation process, which employ two engines, the UNL encoder, ENCO, and the UNL decoder, DECO. The first step consists of encoding the contents of an original document into the UNL language. This is done by ENCO, which works in conjunction with a dictionary, rules of grammar, and the system's own knowledge base. This produces a UNL version of the original document. The second step consists of decoding a UNL version document into any language. Decoding is done by the DECO engine, which uses the target language's dictionary, rules of grammar, and the system's knowledge base. This process instantaneously produces a document in the target language. All elements needed for encoding and decoding documents are stored in UNL servers dealing with each language and connected to Internet. Encoding and decoding can be done via Internet, 
local networks, personal computers, and soon by cell phone. Specific rules have been developed to ensure perfect interface between all languages and UNL. UNL is easy to use and is open to all languages. It will create a global communications revolution. It will facilitate knowledge sharing, enhance respect for cultural identity, and render the information society accessible to the poorest among us. Combining UNL and ever-evolving technology opens the door to limitless possibilities. Some direct uses of UNL as interlingua will be e-commerce as well as surfing on the net. But combined with optical character recognition, one can imagine that a simple cell phone will one day be able to decrypt available documents. Transfer Chavani Lufthansa flight Trana Jaksha Sopransa Gate A Jonsa Dupar. Or simply be used for phoning friends. Treatment for natural disaster victims will be accelerated because of easier coordination between the parties involved. Students will be able to follow classes of the world's major universities from within their own country. Good morning, everyone. I'm delighted to welcome you to my class. UNL will benefit the seeing impaired. UNL encoded documents from all over the world can be printed in Braille or be read with the use of a Braille computer keyboard. UNL will render communication with the hearing impaired easy and accessible to all. It will assist them in their studies and afford them access to a world often poorly adapted to their needs. But above all, using the most recent visual recognition technology, UNL will enable the hearing impaired and those who can hear to communicate with each other in a natural way. As libraries around the world digitize their books, UNL will make them available in almost any language. The translation of a part of the UNESCO encyclopedia will soon reveal the value of UNL. The encyclopedia is a veritable reservoir of knowledge consisting of 250 1000 page volumes published on internet. Cette encyclopédie pour des raisons pratiques est en anglais. Et il est absolument uh, impensable que l'UNESCO sort une publication en une seule langue. Donc ça Euh, personne à l'UNESCO ne signerait pour ça. Donc, euh, d'où l'idée, comment faire pour traduire en six langues 250 volumes de 1000 pages chacune. Donc, euh, si on utilise le taux de traduction d'aujourd'hui, ça fait 13 millions de dollars pour chaque langue. Donc, vous imaginez que c'est quelque chose qu'on ne peut pas envisager. It was therefore quite natural for UNESCO and UNL to work together, since with the UNL system, the entire encyclopedia could be translated within six weeks. Il faut dire que c'est difficile à croire. Quand quelqu'un vous dit, euh, avec ce technique, je prends le, le, un texte anglais et puis je le convertis à 0101, le langage universel d'ordinateur, et puis de là-bas, à travers des filtres, on peut lire en, en dix langues. C'est ça. Donc, et c'était ma réaction, en fait. Et il y en a beaucoup qui restent sceptiques, évidemment, parce que on n'a pas montré des chapitres entiers. Et là, on a un défi. On va montrer... Le 25 chapitre de l'eau, c'est énorme en fait, en UNL. Et donc, euh, euh, ce sera fait en, en DVD aussi, pour un plus large accès, comme démonstration de ce tournant historique dans le domaine de l'accès au savoir. The UNL Systems Architecture enables us to create a limitless reservoir of universal knowledge and wisdom. All documents encoded in the UNL language are saved in the UNL Universal Knowledge Database and are available in every language of the world at a simple click. It's a work 
à long terme. C'est pour cela qu'on a un réseau énorme de gens qui travaillent et on invite tout le monde à, à, à participer à toutes les langues, à faire leur partie pour qu'on puisse euh, réaliser cette dimension totale. UNL restores the universal role of knowledge. It renders science and culture accessible to all the peoples of the world. It offers tools to help each individual attain his or her well-being. It reduces inequality and paves the way to peace.